Hello, welcome to watch the Creative Proteo Mix videos about mass spectrometer, one of the most popular techniques to study proteins. Today, we are going to learn some knowledge about basic types of ion source. A mass spectrometer consists of three main components, the ion source, the mass analyzer, and the detector. Furthermore, the sample introduction system is essential to admin the samples into the ion source and a computer and software are needed to control the instrument and obtain data. In ion source, a sample is ionized, usually to cations by loss of an electron. Today, we are going to introduce some basic types of ion source, including electron ionization, chemical ionization, atmospheric pressure chemical ionization, electrospray ionization, and matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization. Electron ionization is one of the first and popular ionization methods for mass spectrometry. It is appropriate for organic molecules whose relatively molecule weight is below 600. In this technique, a current passes a wire filament can produce electrons for ionization. And an electric field accelerates these electrons to produce a beam of high energy electrons. When a molecule passes this high energy electrons beam, an electron can be expelled from the molecule to produce an ion. Electron ionization works well for many gas phase molecules, so it always works with gas chromatography, which can be incorporated for the separation of mixtures of thermally stable and volatile gases. Although electron ionization works well for many gas phase molecules, it does have some disadvantages. Electron ionization causes extensive fragmentation, therefore the molecular ion is not observed for many compounds. Chemical ionization is very similar to electron ionization. It is a lower energy process than electron ionization. In chemical ionization, ions are produced by the collision of the samples with ions of reagent gas that are present in the ion source. Inside the ion source, the reagent gas is extremely more than samples. Reagent gas is first subjected to electron impact to produce reagent gas ions by the fast electrons from the filament. Sample ions are produced by the ion molecule reactions of reagent gas ions, and sample molecules. In general, reagent gas molecules are present in the ratio of about 100 to 1 with respect to sample molecules. Some common reagent gases include, methane, ammonia and isobutane. Like electron ionization, chemical ionization usually works with gas chromatography. Atmospheric pressure chemical ionization is a method which creates ions at atmospheric pressure, commonly coupled with high-performance liquid chromatography. And this method is appropriate for relatively polar and semi-volatile samples. An atmospheric pressure chemical ionization always consists of an ebullizer probe, which can be heated, an ionization region with a corona discharge needle, and an ion transfer region. A sample solution flow through a heated nebulizer where it is produced into a mist and the mist is transformed into a gas stream. When the gas stream arrived in the ionization region at atmospheric pressure, the gaseous solvent and sample are then ionized by a corona discharge, in which a highly charged electrode creates an electric field strong enough to ionize nearby molecules. The resulting sample ions then pass through a skimmer into the ion transfer region. Then, ions are injected into the mass analyzer for detection. Electrospray ionization is a soft ionization technique, which is useful for biological molecules of large molecular mass, because this process turns the macromolecule ionized into small droplets instead of fragmentation. Electrospray ionization uses an electrical stress between the probe exit and the counter electrode. The process results in the generation of highly charged droplets directly from the infused solution, with the help of another stream of heat or dry gas, which are called dissolvation gas. The charged droplets are continuously reduced in size by evaporation of the solvent, leading to an increase of surface charge density and the decrease of the droplet radius. And when droplets reach the critical point, known as Rayleigh limit, the coulombic repulsion between the charges present in the droplet and then droplets form individual gas phase analyte ions. Finally, the ions are guided into a mass analyzer. Matrix-assisted laser desorption ionization allows the high molecular weight compounds into the gas phases intact ions. The mechanism consists of three processes. Firstly, the sample is mixed with a suitable matrix material in excess and applied them to a plate. Secondly, a pulsed laser irradiates the sample, 
the matrix material causes rapid vibrational excitation by absorbing the laser radiation, which leads to localized disintegration of the solid solution. Finally, the analyte molecules are ionized by being protonated or deprotonated, and can then be accelerated into a mass analyzer. The time of flight analyzers are always used with the matrix assisted laser desorption ionization source. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteo Mix, we provide the most reliable results using mass spectrometer. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.